What's up, bros? Welcome back to another video on the Alpha T YouTube channel, worst YouTube channel on YouTube. Today, I'm gonna tell you about some wacky hijinks I, I went through when I was being a master salesman. Ah, ah, he said it! He said it! And today, instead of Sky Wars, like I always do, I'm gonna play Capture the Wool because Sky Wars is really boring now. And Capture the Wool I've been playing recently is pretty fun. Uh, so, anyway, bet into the video. Quick side note the other day, I nicked myself as Kanye. Because Gvids, this guy on TikTok, told me to do it as Kanye, and I, it actually worked. But the thing is, I was worried because some imbecile in the chat was like, Kanye, you are reported. I was afraid that I would get my YouTube rank taken away for impersonating someone, so I didn't really want I, I didn't really want to be Kanye anymore. So back in my day, in about third grade, this is probably like 2013, maybe 20, well actually, probably 2013, actually, I don't even know. I don't know years anymore. It's 2021? Yeah, it is. So back in like third grade, we had this thing. It was like a field trip hold thing where we would go to this one place and it was called the Museum of Aviation. It's a thing in Georgia, I think. We went there to sell other students from other schools things that we made out of like duct tape and other stuff. So my my stupid dumb self from third grade could not think of a good product to sell. So I decided to go with something easy. Paper airplanes. That that's just pretty easy to sell because lo everybody loves paper airplanes. You let throwing them throwing them around, causing eye damage. It's just a whole lot of wacky fun. So the thing is that my gimmick was it wasn't just regular paper airplanes like the ones that you'd make with like some printer paper or something. These were big paper airplanes. I made them out of like big construction paper and it was crazy and wacky they could go so far if you threw them well enough i couldn't throw them very well it was pretty crazy i was in the middle we haven't we haven't left the school yet to go to the museum of aviation this is like before times then so i was thinking about my project i was like ooh paper airplane is pretty cool and i was like hmm needs a bit much it needs a bit more it needs a bit of more of a gimmick added to it so i decided to maybe like cut out a little picture that I would draw of a little man and tape it to the inside of the plane. Maybe it, make it look like he's driving the plane. Oh, big brain. Big third grade brain. I think I was like 11. 11 sounds more like fifth grade. I was nine. Well, it's just a trap. You can't trap me, idiot. Haha. <laughs> oh, hacker man. More like bad man. Because you're bad at the game. I got your wool, idiot. What are you gonna do now? I'm gonna take it back to my base. You're gonna lose. You're gonna get your wool captured. You can't even handle it. You can't even handle the bombardment. <gasps> oh, I almost fell down. Haha, <laughs> I'm almost there. I'm almost at your wool. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm almost about to capture your wool. It's gonna be epic. Ooh, I just got another kit. How do you feel about that? Bitch. Master salesman captured the orange wool. That's me. After I put in the extra little man on the paper airplane, I went, we went on a field trip to the Museum of Aviation. I can probably even pull up a picture of the Museum of Aviation. That's how crazy and wacky this big event was. See, here it is. If I found it, I don't know if I, uh, hold on. Ah! So we got to the Museum of Aviation and I would, we, I set up my little booth. My little booth I had with a bunch of paper airplanes. I probably like, a, I probably had like 15 of them. I made beforehand, my little nine-year-old hands were going so wacky and numb, making them, it was like a Chinese sweatshop or something, but with only me. It's hard to tell a story and play the first game that you've played all day, but hey, I'm doing it. Oh, 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 parkour, oh, flawless, doesn't matter, doesn't matter, doesn't matter, doesn't matter, oh, uh-oh, Spadudios. doesn't even matter. Nothing matters here. I've, I'm defying laws of physics. So we got there. I set up my little booth. I had like 15 planes there. Uh, there just a little wrap up there. Oh, no. Oh, I'm going to the wall. So a big problem happened, and I had to adapt to that problem. One of the paper airplanes fell apart, and it wasn't very good. It wasn't very stable. So I decided to sell it as a do-it-yourself model. You know how Jeff Kenny, <clears throat> you know, you made the Diary, Diary of Wimpy Kid movie, uh, movies? Well, he, he probably helped out with those. He made the Diary of Wimpy Kid books, and he also made a Diary, Diary of Wimpy Kid. I can't say Diary of Wimpy Kid. I have, like, a lisp or something. I don't know. He also made a version of the books called a do-it-yourself book. Basically, you just sort of fill in some stuff 
and it was pretty cool i got one of them in like the library one time which is kind of weird why would you put it in the library of like a school because then some idiot kid's gonna draw on it which is the main purpose of the, the book itself why would you put that in the library like that, that's it's supposed to be for you it's a unique experience for you anyway I got the wool I'm going to to my base I'm gonna capture it capture it and it's gonna be epic this is the final boss oh, oh you got me so you might be wondering how could you have sold a do-it-yourself model of a paper airplane well I'll tell you I did sell it for half the price now you might be thinking, that's that's profit lost. And I'm like, no, I got the paper from the school. I didn't have to pay for any of it. Idiot. <laughs> Here are you. Oh! Uh. Oh, got him. So that day, I got so much cash. And by the way, the cash wasn't real cash. You couldn't use it at like a store or something. It was special cash that was made by the students. It was called Panther Bucks. And like, oh, I lost. So you might be wondering, like I've said three times already, how many of these paper airplanes did I sell? I sold all of them. I sold out that day, actually. All the children that got them, they hated it. But hey, profit. Like, why would you buy a paper airplane? Like, what imbecile kids? See, that's the market these days. You gotta sell it to children. They're stupid. They're dumb. So, you might be wondering also, what did I use the money that I got from the paper airplanes for? I bought a wallet. Because nine-year-old me needs a wallet. It was made out of duct tape. That's the whole gimmick of it. Why haven't I picked it up yet? There we go. Master salesman. That's me. Hello, children. Can't really escape except that I can kill somebody. <laughs> what are you doing here? You got lagged back. Oh my golly gee. It's really laggy. I don't even think it's me. I have a 74 ping. I think it's the server. Oh! Oh no! It doesn't matter. Nothing matters in the grand scheme of things. I'm Rick from Rick and Morty. Yes! It's working! I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win, boys. So basically, that's the end of that story. From third grade, I bought a wallet. It was made out of duct tape. It looked like trash! And that's the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. And also, as a side note, <gasps> my sister told me to uh, advertise something for her. And actually, I will do it now. So, she has this little thing on this Etsy.com or something like that. I, think, I guess it's like a little thing where regular people can make their own little shop things or little marketplace sort of type things like ebay i think well basically she sells these little dog biscuits that are like homemade and they're made of peanut butter and something and they're only like five dollars like free shipping and everything it's like it's pretty neat i even ordered one i mean i'm gonna, I'm gonna eat it i don't have dogs i have cats i'm gonna eat it I, she said it was edible so yeah i hope i can eat it i hope i don't die oh it, 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 it would be good content though anyways uh Please, please do that. She has no money. So, she that's why I'm promoting it for her. Yeah, it'd be cool. Anyway, subscribe, comment, like, and subscribe more. Uh, th that's the end. Bye.